Hey, with us now, let's bring in Obama senior strategist Robert Gibbs. Robert, we just had an interesting talk with Bob Herbert, New York Times. He thinks the one ad is racist. Do you? Uh, look, I, I don't know about uh, all the conversation and the commentary that you guys just had. Pat Buchanan had a great line. Uh, you know, look, I focus on... I focus on parts of that column that, that, that Bob wrote that talk about, uh, quite frankly, how the, the advertising that John McCain has run just simply hasn't been true, whether it was the ad about veterans, whether it's this most recent ad about taxing electricity, which the Washington Post said is a policy that doesn't exist. I think what you've seen are, are uh, countless organization after organization say the ads are simply not true. And, and you know, I think... Maybe the best test of whether what you're saying is true or not is not to see what your enemies might say, but what your friends might say. His friend Chuck Hagel said his ads were inappropriate. Charlie Crist, on your own show, refused to repeat the very same comments uh, that he had made about Barack Obama and Iraq. And Mel Martinez this weekend said, of course, Barack Obama didn't play the race card. So, again, don't, don't necessarily judge it by what we might say. Judge it by what John McCain's friends might say and understand uh, that his campaign has been way off the mark the past 10 days. Robert, uh, Barack Obama gives his energy speech today in Michigan, and there was news over the weekend that he is uh, changing his view a little bit on offshore oil drilling. Can you see how critics would argue that he's flip-flopping again, or at the very least, having it both ways? Well, let, let me explain, Mika, what, what he said. What he's going to do today is introduce a plan, unveil a plan, uh, that if enacted would wean ourselves off of Middle Eastern oil in 10 years. You know, we've been struggling with this issue, this issue for 30 years. Seven presidents have stood in front of Congress and talked about breaking that addiction to foreign oil. John McCain's been there for 26 of those years. Last week in Washington, five Democrats and five Republicans came together to put forward a pretty sensible plan uh, that uh, removes tax breaks for oil companies, invests in auto companies and helps them get uh, a leg back up, uh, invests in alternative and renewable energy, and has some limited drilling proposals. And what Senator Obama said was that in the midst, in, in a broader, comprehensive energy package, he understands he's not going to get everything he wants. But quite frankly, if he could get a lot of the good things, then he understands a limited, narrow drilling proposal uh, is something that he would certainly take a look at and something he might be able well, to support. Robert, let me uh, ask you look, this, I, because I, we're talking but, but about me, a comprehensive let me add policy this, plan. Let me add I, this, Joe. I, I, I want to ask you really let me, quickly. Let me just though. add this, Joe. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> that... Uh, you know, Barack Obama said a bipartisan plan. That sounded like a good idea. John McCain rejected the plan. You know why? Because it takes tax breaks away from oil companies. The same tax, uh, the same oil companies that are making uh, more in 30 seconds in profit than American workers are making in an entire year. All right, Robert. Let me ask you about this comprehensive plan. Of course, on the you know on on the left, uh, people want alternative fuel sources, and I think sensible people on the right also. Same thing with cars that get 40 miles to the gallon. On the right, they want drilling and also nuclear, uh, uh, the expansion of our uh, nuclear uh, capabilities. Does Barack Obama support, let's say, a French-type uh, nuclear plan where you expand uh, nuclear plants in a clean, safe way? Well, look, uh, what he's talked about is that nuclear has to be part of a framework, but what prevents us from adding nuclear, quite frankly, are the waste and storage issues that have complicated this issue for going on 20 years. How do the That's what we it? need to find a sensible solution to. I, you know, uh, you, you may be better uh, uh, attuned to what the French are doing than I am, Joe. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, people usually make that mistake, but I certainly, if I were running for president and I wanted to uh, get a solution to this problem, I would look into a country that gets 75 percent of their energy from nuclear power. I'd figure out if we can do you know, it I think safe, then it leaves no carbon footprint. Well, look, if America wants a solution to this problem, what we need is somebody, we don't need an oil man like we've had the last eight years in the White House, and we don't need somebody who's beholden to the oil companies for millions and millions of dollars of their campaign right. contributions like John McCain has for the yeah. last few weeks. All right, Robert, get those talking points yes. in, and now the important question. I know you really probably can't afford a lot, <laughs> but did you get him a present for his birthday? You know, I, a funny, kind of a funny story. We uh, we got him a present that he really needs, and uh, one of our guys was bringing it back and uh, left it in the trunk of a cab last night. So oh, the truth is, we don't know. Oh, no. We, he, he, le he left his suitcase in the cab, too, so 
quite honestly, we're hoping that uh, that Marvin both has clothes for himself, uh, which are, is a big interest to us since we're on the road for four days, uh, as as well as uh, as well as uh, Senator Obama's present today. So, okay. yeah, I, I, Marvin may not be with you guys. Marvin, uh, Marvin's All right, Robert, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, coming up Thanks, next, guys. Thanks, Robert.